Hey guys, it's uh, Saturday morning and uh, excited to be on the uh, live here. I haven't been on it in a while, but hopefully in the next couple of weeks, you'll be seeing me on it more and more. I'm at my mom's house, still recovering from um, uh, July 4th, but heading back to Chicago today. And so if you're coming on, Peggy, good to see you and others are tuning in here Saturday morning. I mean, what are you guys doing except sitting in your yards, drinking coffee, right? <laughs> like nobody has any summer plans or anything, but uh, whatever you're doing, I'm glad you're tuning in. If you're looking at this later, great too. Um, I uh, am seeing patients this morning as I typically do in the mornings, but took a break to remind you of uh, something we sent out yesterday. And just because honestly, we're so excited about uh, the Hope Ranch. If you haven't had the chance to hear yet, we uh, have a retreat center called the Hope Ranch that our ministry has started. Our, my ministry is Living with Power Ministries. If you're tuning into Facebook and have never seen me or met me before, I'm Lena. It happens. You guys know that. You have these things that, you know, you get these Facebook friends and you accumulate them and you're like, who is this person? And I've done that. And I'll go on these rabbit trails of trying to figure out who you are and six degrees of separation, and all of that. Well, I'm Lena and I started a ministry called Living with Power Ministries years ago. And basically, uh, this year we bought a, a place that's going to be a retreat center for individuals and small groups. And so you can find out about it at thehopebranch.org. Why we're excited is that yesterday we opened registrations. Many of you have already signed up, but we'd like to just keep that in the forefront of your mind as you're planning your fall, winter, and spring getaway. The point of the retreat center really is for individuals to come and find healing and a space to hear from God. We're a Christian ministry, proud of it, excited about it, humbled by it. Uh, so really pride me and not be the word I should have chosen, but really proud to be serving the Lord and, and, and gifted uh, or uh, honored to be given the abilities to do that. And one of those ways has been to serve you in the capacity of teaching the Bible and writing about God. Many of you have come alongside our ministry and have helped support us. We're so, so, so thankful. I will have this coming week when I get back to Chicago, I will have um, pictures, updated pictures of what's happening at the ranch. It's awesome. We call it the farm, the ranch, whatever you want to call it. The barn, we haven't started rehabbing yet, but everything else is coming underway. We'll have in the process by the end of July, we'll be done. Hey, the prices we've revised are incredible. I really genuinely believe it will be well worth your dollar to sign up and come. So if you have felt disconnected from God and listen, I know it can happen. It happens to all of us. It takes time and space in order to connect with the Almighty. And we're living in a crazy era where we don't have that. You know that, I know that. Even the best Christians struggle to find time. And even when you find the time, it's hard to really tune into the Lord. So our heart was to create a space for you to come and where we help guide the time. It's a, it's not a conference center. It's, a, it's really a semi-silent, I call it semi-silent retreat. So many Christians now are disillusioned with the church, disillusioned with leaders and churches. Our goal is not to create a place where we whine about that. No, but just a place to heal from that and to reconnect with what it means to be a Christian, a follower of Jesus Christ, and to find the bandwidth to be able to tune into the Almighty. Dinners are set up to be communal, so you'll meet other women. This is a women's retreat center, so sorry, guys, if you're watching and you're dying to come. Our house host is Irina, my assistant, who is the most incredible person in the world. And uh, honestly, the place, uh, we're catering meals. We have an awesome caterer, Linda, and uh, we're just excited about it. And I really think if you're, uh, we're setting it up as two-day retreats. I know it will be an ask for you to take time off your schedule. But listen, if you don't do that for your soul um, down the road, you will suffer for it. I've had to fight for those times with God. And some of the biggest spiritual decisions and milestones that have happened in my life have been those times when I've said, okay, I need to prioritize God in my life. And I end up sometimes going to conferences that are amazing, but just so packed with information that I never have a chance to process. And so we want to create a space of silence and solitude, but also communal um, fellowship. And that's a Christian word, just means um, deepening friendships with one another. And so we um, invite you to come and to take advantage of this beautiful, beautiful space in the suburbs of Chicago. If you're from out of town, you're invited too. And uh, and don't listen to what you hear about Chicago. <laughs> it's awesome. It's a great town. We love it. This is in the suburbs of Chicago, about 20 minutes from O'Hare. And uh, you, if you have a small group, you can actually book the whole house for an incredible price. Um, you should get 10 to 15 people and come. And uh, smaller groups, you can book the house or you can come individually and we'll prioritize you in your own room. Uh, not individual rooms, but where the group is together in a room. So we're doing our best to think through all of the things that can come along with um, 
uh, your questions. And the website we have, thehopebranch.org, hopefully answers that. We've updated it. We've cleaned it up. And hopefully it'll be very, very smooth for you to uh, sign up. So please do that. We launch, actually, the actual retreat opens September 13th, but we are taking registrations now. If anybody has any questions, you guys are coming in. I'll just as, as I'm looking for questions here, um, and by the way, not too early to book now for 2022, because you know how it is. If you don't plan it, it won't happen. And so um, just, just think about that. But if you have questions, I can try to answer them. A couple of things coming up uh, just to put in your mind. Number one, uh, I'll be headed to Lebanon July 22nd. We have not stopped doing the global work we're doing in the Middle East. We continue to support Syrian refugees and the Lebanese who are going through an incredible hard time and crisis. You will get more information about that. In fact, this week, I'm going to probably do a couple of lives. Kaylee, one of our missionaries in uh, Lebanon, she's a nurse practitioner, is in the U.S. She'll be spending a night in Chicago. I can't wait to see her and update you on what we're doing with her. Friday, I'm meeting some other missionaries from the Middle East. But So just exciting things um, happening. But July 22nd, I'll be in Lebanon until the end of July and can't wait to tell you what's happening there. Uh, a, an important thing for you guys to know, all of the proceeds... But we have operational costs with the retreat. You guys know we've had some rehabbing, which actually most of that we, we're trusting God to provide through the donations that have come in and some that are continuing to come in. But really the operations of the of the house will be supported by the reservations. But we will hopefully um, be able to create some margin to be able to continue even more work in the Middle East. We're a nonprofit. Our mission is to help those in need, to provide hope for the world. So when you come and book, one of the advantages to what you're doing is that we are, in fact, supporting um, right now the Syrian refugees and the Lebanese, but we, our vision is bigger than that, is to help people in the Middle East, but other, uh, especially areas that are harder to get into with the gospel, where uh, me as a physician, I, I'm able to get into more, but also uh, just places that are in desperate need for the gospel of Christ. So we believe that there is peace and hope in Jesus. And so we just want to be able to uh, to just keep you posted on all these things. You're a part of it at the end of the day. So uh, just glancing here, I don't see any big questions. So I just wanted to sort of come into your screen if you're scrolling through. Um, hi, good to see you. I hope you're having a great summer. And if you have any questions, DM me. Uh, love you guys. Have a great day.